Hello everyone, I'm Colin Kinnett. Today I'm going to make a planing jig for my router. And if you're new here today, I invite you to subscribe, click the notification bell, and let's get busy making this jig. Now to speed things up a little bit for us, I've gone ahead and I've made some of the parts and these are pretty simple parts that don't take a lot of instruction, but I'm going to tell you what I did. Now, first of all, uh, the, the jig consists of two parts. It consists of a rail system and it consists of a carriage that rides on top of that. And the rails are pretty simple. They're just some plywood that I cut up and you can see that they have some inside, they have an inside area, some wood on the inside here and some wood on the outside. And the, I've made it so that the smaller pieces are on the inside and the reason for that is so that that can grip the wood on the inside. The outside wood is so that I can clamp that if I want to a table or some other workbench so that I can keep it from moving around. Now all I did was cut some plywood and, and basically just glued it together and when all the pieces were glued and tacked together I ran these top two pieces, this one and this one, um, through the jointer so I got them nice and straight and flat. Um, and then I ran the whole thing through my table saw and got a nice even cut that way. So now they're parallel, they're exactly the same, and they're set aside because now I'm going to concentrate on the carriage. Now that you've had the overview of the rails, now we're going to concentrate on the carriage. And basically the carriage is four pieces of wood with some plastic as a base and I need to cut a hole in it to, for the router to fit and I also need to um, drill holes for the router base. Now sometimes when you do these things you get lucky and I, I barely got lucky on this because I need to measure the width between these two boards so that the plastic can go underneath and as it turns out um, the piece of plastic that I bought that I thought was going to be too wide and I was going to have to trim down, it's only barely, uh, it really isn't too wide. It's actually just about perfect as it turns out. I could trim it a little bit. There's about an inch on each side, but not going to make any kind of a difference. So what I'm going to do now is take the base plate off my router and start finding the center of the plastic and we'll drill a hole and we'll fasten the router to that. So the first thing I'm going to do, there's the holes that I need to replicate, all of these holes, and I have a punch that fits just snugly in there and I'm just going to use it and mark each hole. And now that each hole is marked, I'm going to drill a pilot hole. Now I can flip it over and I have a mark because now I have to drill these recesses here. So I'm going to do all of those now. Now I can drill out those holes. Now before I move on, I wanted to make sure that the plate fit, and I haven't tightened it because I need to take it off here, but uh, all of the screws line up and that sits on there fine. Okay, so now I'm going to unscrew it and we're going to fasten it to the wood that will be the body of the carriage. One last thing I had to do before I start working on the carriage was to drill the hole in the center and I happen to have a hole saw the right size. Normally I would have drilled a small hole and used a very fine blade in my jigsaw but this happened to do the job so let's get started on the carriage now. So what I have here is the base and I've just marked 
all of these uh, lines on here so that I know where to put my countersink holes because now the next thing I need to do is drill holes all the way along here and countersink them because the router will fit on this side of this plate as and I'll need to attach it with screws and they'll need to be countersink deep in so that they'll ride nicely on the rails. Now I need to put some cross members in here and I've got some nice thick fur here that I'm going to use but I need to measure the inside because this is a custom measurement in here. So I'm just putting these two sticks together right down at the bottom and I'll clamp those and then measure them and that will give me my distance. Okay. Now the last thing I need to do is drill a couple of holes pilot holes through here and I'm going to put these big flat headed washer screws in there and that'll drive that nice and tight. Now because this jig is going to be handled a lot, uh, I'm going to have my hands sort of all over this area here. I'm going to go over the entire jig with a roundover bit so that I don't get any slivers or jab myself with something. So I'm going to do that. Well, we've got the jig all finished now. But before I flip it back onto its uh, front where it's going to sit, I wanted you to have a quick look at the bit that I'm using before I plug it in. And that's a two and a half inch planing bit. As you can see, it's never been used. So I'm going to bring in a piece of wood now and uh, we're going to do some planing. So here's the wood that I'm going to plane. And you can see that I have the jig, the rails clamped to my workbench and I have the wood clamped as well so it's clamped in the jig like this. Now this is a pretty dusty process uh, and I'm not going to do the whole board but I'm going to show you how this thing works but I want to show you the saw marks and what we're going to do to get rid of them. So you can see this board is pretty rough you can see all of the saw cuts there so I'm going to start off by just taking a skim across it then I'll have to lower the blade a bit and do a little bit more so you always do just a little bit at a time. There you can see there's the area that I haven't touched yet and you can see that this is the area that's been planed. And you know it's not perfect but it <laughs> all it's going to take is uh, some sandpaper to make that nice and nice and smooth all the way across. And what I like about this jig is you can keep expanding it and make it wider and wider and wider. So uh, very happy with the way that's turning out and I really like the, the bit, that bit, this is the first time I've used that bit, it's doing an excellent job. Very happy with that. Well that concludes my video for today. I'm not going to make you sit through the whole plating of the board. You've got an idea how it works uh, and what went in, involved in making it. Uh, I'm very happy with the way it works. Um, nice little planing jig and I know I'll get lots of use out of because I got some pretty wide boards that I want to do some plating on so it'll work perfectly for that. I'm Colin Kinnett for Woodwork Web. Thanks for watching.